I'd like to start with a vision, and that's the vision of having uh, equal access to good health and well-being and health care. Focus on health care instead of um, sick care. Mm. And I think in order to get there, we really do need to collaborate across industries, across countries, because we can make use of technology to travel much further, travel much faster, bring more people in use the uh, advances in developing countries who have leapfrogged uh, the innovation and are not suffering from legacy systems which hold them back, but they can go much quicker than many of us can. And then uh, finally, focus on prevention. Prevention for people, prevention uh, for patients, because prevention is always better than cure. It saves a lot of lives across the world and um, Yes, let's invest in prevention. Yes, um, I read a report by the WHO yesterday uh, saying that the pandemic had set back healthcare by two decades, mm -hmm. two full decades. There's a huge backlog of patient uh, cancer patients not having had the diagnostics or the treatment, elective surgeries, people not having new knee joints or whatever it is. If we add to that the antimicrobial resistance, which risks setting us back to the 1940s before penicillin uh, was invented, it's a pretty gloomy picture. Um, but I think what the pandemic has actually done is put a finger on the need for prevention. We need to prevent further pandemics. We've had vaccines in no time but we also need to prevent bacterial infections. So I think it's put prevention on the spot. As you mentioned, artificial intelligence, traveling digitally, training, sharing knowledge uh, through that, um, and co-creating. Scania is another brilliant example where the government called on the action of the industry to help support in a crisis. Industry teamed up and provides the supplies. Scania helped with logistics staff. That's another way of co-creation. And I think let's not go back to where we were before, but let's take this leapfrog moments uh, and go ahead and, and accelerate the development. We talked earlier about the ecosystem or quadruple and triple helix model where industry, healthcare, academia, and the government come together and form alliances. And one concrete example of this is um, during a state visit to India, which His Majesty led a couple of years ago, we formed the Vision Zero for Hospital Acquired Infections or Healthcare Associated Infections based on the road safety initiative that was launched uh, by the road safety authorities many, many years ago to bring down fatalities. And this is where we're looking at solving a problem that we share preventing people from infections. That has now led to a platform where we share knowledge and we train people and we bring the needs of the healthcare sector and interact. And I think that is really when we establish sound partnerships across industries, across sectors, that's when we really can benefit from the collaboration. 